Coach, I'm assuming that you and your staff went through the tape of uh, yesterday's game. Was there anything that uh, you detected that you thought was better done or was not as good as you thought from last night? Um, we could have held on to it more offensively for sure, but defensively we didn't give up much. Um, played a real responsible third period and, uh, you know, uh, really after looking at it, you can't complain too much. Do you get a sense that your players have, and probably have for a while now, but really, really bought into the thought that this is their playoff hockey right now? Well, for sure. I mean, we, we took our lumps early from everybody and, uh, you know, we get a chance to play spoiler, but also get a chance to get important games, you know, and see how they're played. I mean, these are playoff games. Yesterday's a playoff game. Uh, tomorrow's a playoff game. Calgary, these teams are playing them like playoff games and we're getting free experience and, and realizing, you know, how you have to play to win those games. Uh, the answer is an obvious one, but can you just offer an assessment of uh, the progress of these young players? Um, I think we all knew what to expect from Brady, but Josh Norris, Drake Batherson, Formanton, players like that. Yeah, I mean, I I think, you know, at the start of the year, I think everyone, you know, wanted just to put all the kids in and, and let them play. And that I don't believe that's how you uh, develop guys. Over time, you, you earn certain spots on the power play you earn certain minutes you earn chances to play in the last minute and every one of these young guys at some point has either beat a veteran out um or or you know proven their worth in this league and and they feel uh and they have the confidence because they did so they weren't given anything uh, these young guys and and the guys that have been here are proven that uh, they can play with anyone in the league on any given night mark Broussard, ladois Yeah, Coach, um, curious about uh, <clears throat> Arjun Zoom scored again yesterday, and uh, is he kind of a, the biggest surprise you've had this this season that he's come in and and grabbed the spot and been a regular? Yeah, I don't know about surprise, but I mean, um, you know what what he's been able to do away from the puck. I mean, the scoring's great, but his ability um, to be a plus player at this point in the season tells you just how hard he is to play against defensively. Um, you know, and he's played, you know, he missed a few games at the start there, but I mean, uh, he's able to defend against anyone in the league. He's heavy, gets pucks to the net. So yeah, he's been a pleasant surprise for sure. Final hand is for me and Mendez at the athletic. Hi DJ. I've got uh, two questions for you. If that's okay. Uh, the first one would be, um, how tough would it be to even contemplate lineup changes for tomorrow? Because you, you're coming off your first shadow of the season and, um, just wondering, are you kind of, um, you know, more eager to go back with the same lineup we saw on Saturday uh, tomorrow in uh, in Calgary. Well, for sure, we're we're trying to build for the future here, and and these guys, I mean, it's different. You know, when you have a bunch of veterans at the end of the year, and and you, and they're UFAs, and maybe they're not trying to get nicked up, and uh, they know they're not going to be back. You, you've got a whole bunch of guys fighting for spots next year. Uh, we're trying to get better every day, so uh, we're playing these games like it's the first month of the year. So. You know, if we play a good game, we're not going to just switch the lineup for any particular reason. Um, you know, we, if you play well, you get to stay in. So, um, you know, we like the way things are going. We're going to push to the final period. Uh, and the last question would be, you kind of alluded to this. You guys kind of took your lumps early in the season, and in particular out west in Western Canada, you took your lumps. How different is your team, the mentality, all of that now versus what you were dealing with out west about uh, eight or ten weeks ago? Well, I mean, the biggest thing we hadn't played in a year with no exhibition and a bunch of young guys and then older guys that were thrown in with them um, that, you know, didn't know each other, didn't, you know, didn't know their worth in the lineup or, you know, who should be playing where and what have you. Um, and it was a perfect storm. You know, obviously it didn't work for us, but uh, because we went through that together as a group, we realized what we have to do to win in this league. And when we do it, we have a chance. When we don't, we lose. And, um, you know, without that failure, sometimes you never succeed and, and it hurts while you're going through it. Um, and it's still a work in progress for us, but we realize what we have to do if we want to get points, you know, in the standings. And uh, if you don't go through those lumps, maybe you're not at this point um, right now where we understand as a group uh, what we have to do. We'll go to a Matt Tidcom at senators.com. Hey, DJ, just a day later, uh, just kind of what did you think of Shane Pinto last night? And like moving forward, you know, how does he progress on, on his performance from yesterday's game? Well, just the more he, you know, gets used to the speed and what have you. But I mean, exceptional hockey sense, real heavy stick. Uh, you know, he, he thinks the game, you could see it. I mean, he jumped right out there in the penalty kill, you know, 
essentially a playoff game and, and picked a couple off for us. He won some big faceoffs at the end. So, um, you know, he'll just continue to get better. Like everyone else though, he'll have, he'll have highs and he'll have lows. Um, but the more reps he can get, um, we think we've got ourselves a good one for a long time. For the final one, we'll circle back to Mark Broussard. AJ, you got Abramov who uh, waited for you uh, in Calgary. Um, I think it's the second time he's called up from to the taxi squad. Do you have any plans for him? Has he been kind of a reward for a pretty good season he's had so far? Well, he, you know, since he went back down the last time, the message was to him to, to be the hardest working player like we know he can be. And he went down there and he's done that. And uh, uh, we'll look at the schedule and, and we'll see how other guys are playing. But uh, he's been their best player down there of late. And uh, he was, you know, he deserves this call up. We'll see if we can get him in.